3 updates and a little bit of reality right here, right now. Greetings petrol heads and welcome to RomRom.net, the channel sharing the joy of sim racing and to a regular news roundup. Thank you for watching, my name is Serta and I will be your host for this video. If you have any news for us, send us a mail to news at RomRom.net. There were some small ish updates to Assetto Corsa Competizione and Wreckfest, but they didn't change anything big. I just thought I'd mention them. And and there's been some impressive mods out this week, which we'll test in the subsequent week. So if you don't want to miss them, maybe hit that subscribe button, just saying. But today, here and now, the news of the week. I ho, I ho, it's roadmap time again. Studio 397 have published their new roadmap. In it, they say they have been working through all of September in things that are not ready for release yet. And because they want to release many more things more often, they are hiring. They are in need of different software engineers with a firm knowledge of Java and C++ and have opening positions in the backend graphics and doing their praised physics, UI frontend and backend engineers and a ton and a half of artists. If you're interested in any of these positions, see the link in our description. And if you get the job, don't forget where you heard it first. Wink wink, nudge nudge. What's also interesting in these positions is they are all clearly talking about R Factor 2, maybe quelling the rumors in the sim racing world that R Factor 2 is going to die in favor of the other sims made by Studio 397 and Motorsport Games, but only maybe. Back to the roadmap. There is a new release candidate available for brave souls who want to see into the future while putting themselves in the always present danger of bugs. Added to a ton of smaller fixes, the developers have addressed sound issues as well as an, as they call it, exaggerated yaw bug. This will also be the first in a row of releases where the developers will try their strategy for faster load times, a much needed improvement, if you ask us. There's also been a couple of changes for modding, so if you belong to that group of humans we so much revere at RomRom that we built you an altar, check the release candidate out. What will come in a near but not release candidate near future? Studio 397 have been working on improving the way rain droplets and the windscreen of the cars interact, striving for more realism. And they think they have got it now. They only have to implement it for all the different types of windscreen and windshield present in R Factor 2. Also, their work on updating all tattoos cars already in the sim continues. It seems they really, really need more developers, as for at least the next months, development of the competition system will noticeably slow down, the studio having made the decision they need the developers more on the simulation front than in the competition front. The release of driver ratings has been definitely moved to early next year and they were not more precise than that and only after driver ratings have been released we'll see stewarding support, protest and decision handling or roles and team based driving. Just Race's new update is almost completely about Automobilista 2. They are out of the closed beta phase, so you don't need an invite anymore to become a member, either as a racer or an admin. As for Automobilista 2, they now support setting up multi-class races, allowing ghosted vehicles, disabling pit refuel or forcing mandatory pit stops. You can now, within Just Race, set up session start time, time scale and live track, as well as deciding the type of start, standing versus rolling, formation lap yes or no, etc. Also, you can set up your Automobilista 2 server to force or forbid driving aids like driving line, manual change of gears, auto start engine, etc. After this update, Jazz Race offers you easier ways to set up multiplayer races than Automobilista 2 does by itself and therefore more ways as you'll find them all in one page. If you're interested in all the details or want to know how to update Jazz Race within your Automobilista 2 server, see the link in our description. A slow growth in the overall number of users puts the data in the middle of all observed numbers, not the highest, nor the lowest. 
Now that we have data for about half a year, we are starting to see some trends like the steady decline of race room and R Factor 2. Nothing catastrophic, but considering both are produced by active studios that have been releasing content regularly, it's strange up to a point. The press policy of both studios is quite horrendous, while R Factor 2 at least regularly publishes a roadmap. Well, the press policy of all companies in the sim racing niche is forgettable. Almost the worst I've ever seen in many years of experience, and that's saying something. And while Race Room had a little bit of growth in July, R Factor 2 has been in continuous decline since we started collecting this data. All this while the total number of average users has kept steady and even risen a tiny little bit. Automobilista 2 also is in steady decline despite great work by Reza to tear the walls of Project Cars 2 down and build a sim worthy of the name. Best force feedback out there at the moment I'd be willing to say. Beam and G on the other hand has the power of an active and interested community that is producing content and creating the wildest stuff and not surprisingly so does Aceto Corsa contrary to what is happening with Assetto Corsa Competizione that is becoming more stale and less used with every month. Even if it still has usage numbers other sims can only dream about. Which makes it clear how important it is to keep your sim open enough so your community can create its own content around it so others get attracted to it. I hope Kunos is not forgetting this lesson while working on Assetto Corsa 2. We are aware 6 months is a very small time frame, so we'll have another closer look in yet another 6 months time. As always, the Razor train doesn't stop and always on new tracks, pun intended. Now Automobilista 2 has Monza in a modern GP version, Junior, 1971 GP, 1971 GP Junior, 1971 10 km with and without chicane and 1991 GP layouts. You'll be able to choose this track if you own the Seasons Pass or the Monza DLC. It seems not to be part of the premium track pack by the way. So while we could joke about them putting out the track every other sim has and the only track that seemingly interests sim racers in open lobbies, at least you have so many versions of it that you can go and fool the online racers into trying a completely different track than the Monza they are accustomed to. Hey, maybe they'll learn how boring a comfort zone is. Fat chance. I know. Other than that, Razer have done many corrections and added many features to the real weather, added every session information and other infos to the session overview and pre-event screens and as it seems to be happening with every version once again fiddled with tire treads in many of their cars and series. Also, if you as I have noticed your wheel rattling around when the car is still at a standstill, they have reduced the force feedback for such situations. As was already the case in the first Automobilista, they continue tweaking the AI, this time improving its overtaking logic, making their lateral movements less jerky and more natural, decreased its performance when not at 100% and improved its blue flag behavior. Also, it seems that they now overtake better and start better their races on wet tracks. I fear Reza won't stop until they are as good as any human racer, which will be the point I lose every race against the AI. <sighs> of course, things always have to be so perfect in Razer World it tends to get weird, because with regards to sound, they have updated the grass roll sample. I kid you not, it's a verbatim quote from their release notes. Together with that, they have fixed a bug where you'd hear screeching of the tires while skidding on grass, a bug Aceto Corsa still has and I suppose will now have forever. Other than that, Reza have been fixing sounds, adding sounds, making sounds better and as they themselves say, 
polished engine loops. When it comes to tracks, this time they've only made minor corrections to Montreal and Hockenheim 1988. I suppose the rest of the team was busy on Monza. But on the other hand, they've done a metric ton of changes to different vehicles, correcting the animations and other assorted stuff. If you want the details, check the link in our description. Tons of work once again done by Reza and tons of videos in our channel which you'll find if you check the playlist to the left or the video to the right. Until next time, save fuel, collect pickup and we'll see each other on the podium.